welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the theory lectures based on noise measurement so before the starting the noise measurement what exactly the noise is there so again the noise is unwanted undesirable case and which will be seen with some wave forms okay some fluctuating wave forms are there there is no a definite wave forms that you can see indefinite wave forms are created which will be so seen in the the graphical form some of the examples where we are seen that these noise that is first that is a aeroplanes okay take up so this is again the noise creation second that is a the four wheelers which create the noise the third that is cyclones so cyclone may changes the the silent zone into the disturbance zone and there is a something broken is there something friction between the two uh, bodies so this is all about the uh, cyclones and because of the cyclones the noise is created what are the characteristics of the noise or you can say what are the the features of the noise so that is undesirable unwanted sound that we called as what noise so this is basic difference between the sound and noise okay that is unwanted sound that is called as noise this is subjective it depends upon the uh, what objective we are provided okay third that is impacts annoyance or disturbance what should be impact of this noise what should be effect of this noise that is annoyance and disturbances again there is a stress then again physical or psychological damage now the transportation noise it decreases with increasing the distance in the corridor problems uh, generated by what is the during that particular transportation the noise is generated by first that is the engine second that is the exhaust and third that is the aerodynamic frictions and the last one interaction between the tire pavements so these are the four uh, the the parameters where or four areas where the transportation noise is created now this control over the transportation noise some act is designed act is sanctions that is federal the noise control act 1972 the recognized noise as a major degrader in of the urban living so this is the main focus encourage use of the noise standards if we are using the noise standard that we are having the very less kind of the noise state and the local governments also the also the institute noise control it quite is there one then again the noise measurement the intensity of the signal sound is measured on uh, relative of the logarithmic scale so a logarithmic scale you have to use and which will be mentioned with the decibel they are also given that 14 decibel is sound is very painful for human being or human ear some common uh, the areas where we have seen the different range of the noise level first that is a career deck jet operations that is air and siren that is 140 effect it will be painful painfully loud second that is jet take of 200 feet same that is one nearly that is 130 then again disco thunder laps 120 their maximum vocal effect garbage trucks that is 100 heavy duty 50 feet city traffic that is 90 library living room bedroom the quiet office is having the 40 decibel it is quite good one we can say silent zone living room bedroom uh, okay same just like here then again the library is soft uh, whisper at the 15 feet that is having the 10 decibel traffic and the 40 and the bedroom and the 30 very quiet sound just audible for the 10 0 that is a heavy hair begins means miss what we will start to hear now the pro uh, noise propagations noise propagation indicates something noise is generated at the source and the spread spherically away from the source the intensity uh, diminishes with the distance losses also uh, occur from the sound energy being dissipated as the sound is transferred by air particles 
bending or you can say diffractions of the sound waves propagation means what the traveling you know the uh, x direction or you can say you know horizontal or longitudinal directions so so what are the l0 and l equivalent the equivalent sound level is the steady state and weighted sound level which contain the same amount of the acoustic energy as actual time varying if the time period is 1 hour the descriptor is the hourly equivalent we can say the equivalent is quite different quite uh, we can say the average okay if there is 1 hour that is the l equivalent 1 hour and addition to the descriptor which is having some times that is the 10 hours is there that is given mentions that is the l10 so this is the basic difference now this is the typical the sound level graph or noise level graph which will be shown here for the 60 minutes what should be the time interval between where we are seeing some peaks part that is the one half minute two minute two minute one and a half minute okay l10 and l equivalent is showing here l10 is usually about the 10 decibel greater than the l equivalent this is the case so this is all about the noise measurement quite simpler one noise means what it is unwanted undesirable sound which will be created because of the some, something in the detractions in the operations okay uh, we have seen some example just like the aeroplane then again four wheelers then again your uh, cyclones okay and some coral will be there so again we have seen that unwanted undesirable characteristics uh, parameters are there so some we have seen some uh, practical examples where the different ranges are there so this is all about the your noise measurement and all these things i think everyone will be understand what exactly is the case of this a quite simpler one which will be provide the good information